Hello, hello, this is Rod, Live Within Your Means. And, uh, you know, there's a AC unit right over there. There's a swamp cooler up upstairs. And uh, this house has central air, but I don't have any of them on right now. Because I'm trying to see just how uh, warm it'll get in here. And uh, I thought I would just show you guys something. This is a tri-level home. And I've got some therm or, uh, thermometers in different places. So this is in the lower level, as you can see here. It's about 77, 78 degrees in the lower level on this warm day when it's about 94 degrees outside. It might be 95. But if we go up a few steps to the main level, so this is the living room, kitchen room level, and we look at the thermometer here on the counter, Wow, it's clear up to 83 degrees, almost 84 degrees up here. So, you know, several degrees warmer. And if we go up here to the bedroom level, <clears throat> the upper be bedroom level, and let's take a look at our thermometer up here. Wow, that's up to 85 degrees. Now this is with the windows closed. There is a swamp cooler here. And uh, when I have this on, this will really cool the house down quite a bit. And at a much lower cost than the central air conditioning uh, will. That costs a lot of money to run. But I am trying, look at that, it's even cloudy outside. And yet, it's up in the mid 90s. And uh, this is in Broomfield, Colorado. But I wanted to see just how warm it'll get in here after having things uh, cooled down with the swamp cooler during the night and then this morning. I turned off the swamp cooler, I closed all the windows, and I uh, wanted to see just how warm it would get in here. Um, the reason that I showed you uh, my legs there is because my father taught me something when I was young. If you're cold, and you don't have a pair of socks on, put some socks on. Or a pair of pants, put some pants on, put some socks on. And you might need to uh, put a shirt on or a sweater on and put a cap on your head. Those will all make a difference in helping keep the warmth in that your body produces. But if you need to cool down, uh, take those things off. And believe it or not, it'll cool your body down because that blood's flowing through your legs and there's a lot more surface area in your hands and in your in your toes. But even taking a cap off your head or a shirt off will make a big difference for you. And if that hasn't cooled you down, because we might all want to be ready for times when maybe the power is not working. And, uh, and if you're having a really tough time, then uh, go down to a lower level in the house that you're in. If there's a basement, it'll be cooler down there. And you can put on a pair of shorts. And uh, these shorts, you put on a pair of shorts, you've got more skin uh, being exposed to the air, air where your sweat, the little bit of perspiration you have, or a lot, can be evaporating and take off your socks. And uh, if you've done those things, those will, those will do you a lot of good uh, to be able to cool down when you don't have power. And uh, so those are the things that you can do in your home or wherever you're at uh, that may be of help to you. Obviously, if you're in a work environment, uh, you know, working in an office building somewhere, <laughs> they probably have AC going. And uh, if it's this warm, they, they've probably got some air conditioning going. Otherwise... Uh, they'd probably send people home. But uh, you remember that it was quite warm up here. And uh, I don't usually handle the heat well. But I've lost a bunch of weight. I weigh a good 30 pounds less than I did a year ago. Probably 40 pounds almost less than I did a year ago. Like I said, this was up there around 85 degrees up here. And yet down on the lower level, it was several degrees cooler. A few degrees each level that I went down. So those are things that you can do 
to uh, to be cooler. Obviously, if I open up the windows, that warm air out. Oh, I notice how much cooler it is down here. I can feel that difference. And like I showed you a minute ago, a few minutes ago, it's almost 78 degrees down here, but that's uh, several degrees cooler than it is on those upper levels. But yeah, take your shoes off, put some shorts on, and uh, you know, get used to unfortunately being a little less comfortable because rolling blackouts are probably going to be a thing that we're going to experience more in the future. And uh, we all want to be comfortable when we can be. So this is Rod. Live within your means and have a wonderful day.